Hello and welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I installed two out of three axis digital readout on my new vertical mill. Lately I've been busy with it and I think it's a pretty good and a good looking too reason to get distracted from those top projects outlined in one of my earlier videos especially since it will tremendously aid the speed and quality of those and many more other projects. I ordered this kit from eBay. They shipped it from China via FedEx and it was delivered in about a week after the sale date. When I looked at the boxes I wasn't too excited and was expecting there to be some sort of damage. To my surprise Everything survived all the fun and stresses of the shipment and that gave me a slight sense of hope that it could work on the machine as well. It's a 3-axis kit which I ordered oversized just in case. All three glass scales were packed into one box. These look like they've been made with universal kit parts they're just chopped to length and slapped together. At least it doesn't sound like there is anything jiggling or rattling inside. And that's a good sign. It is entirely possible that they cut them to length after an order is placed to save on inventory. The connector looks like it's, it is from Radio Shack. It is also possible that connectors and many other components at Radio Shack come from the same basement in China. There are scale covers and mounting brackets with some machine screws included with this kit, as well as mounting arm for the head unit. First initial test shows that everything looks normal and works okay and that I can proceed to the next step. Next step revealed a fundamental flaw of the included brackets. They are of no real use really. All I did was manage to break my miter saw trying to cut one of these. It was clear that I had to make my own mounting hardware. First, I came up with these angle brackets to mount the scale to the machine. It has a slotted counterboard hole for M6 bolt in the longer side and M5 threaded hole on the shorter side. The slotted hole was made the way it is to make the head of the M6 bolt to clear from the scale while bringing the scale as close as possible to the base of the bracket. The end piece of the scale has slotted hole on the top. This setup will allow for bidirectional adjustment possibility to set scales parallel to the travel of the mill table. After the scale was attached to the machine and couple of adjustments made, it runs with less than a thousandth off for, for the entire travel of the y-axis. I call it good enough, but who's enough and why is he good? you ask. Uh, that was supposed to be a joke. The y-axis slider is attached to the saddle by the means of custom bracket made out of 3 8 by 3 inch aluminum bar, surfaced, milled and drilled on the very mill it is installed on. 
I did most of the milling involved in this project off camera to save you some pain having to watch it. However, later in this video I'll show some milling of the x-axis slider bracket. After the x-axis scale was secured to the work table, I gave up aligning it at around couple of thousands off to either side of the zero mark through the entire range of motion. I attributed this flaw to the scale itself being warped. Now, time to take some precision measurements and make the slider bracket. This one is tricky because it doesn't have enough room to play with, so I had to sketch it to visualize. Slider will be mounted on top of the bracket and also have two directional adjustment capability. The material of choice for all angle brackets is what I have on hand. Pieces of 3 by 4 by quarter inch 6061 aluminum angle. Milling is done using Chinese side of high speed steel titanium coated end mills which has pleasantly surprised me with its quality over price ratio. Once the machining was over, I deburred and filed edges to make it look pretty. I am pleased with how it turned out.
time to attach it to the saddle. Is there a drill doctor in the house? Yes, there is. It drills much better now. And here is where China gets revenge on me, again. Here goes another tap, and the hole that was almost done. Had to drill and tap new set of mounting holes, off camera. Amazingly, everything fits together well and works just as planned. Next video in this series will be about attaching Z-axis scale. I feel like it should be especially fun because I have no idea at this point how I'm going to do that. So stay tuned. If you saw something interesting today, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, I ask that you leave a comment in the section below so I can improve. Please help this channel grow by subscribing and sharing with your friends. Please also consider supporting me, links are in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day!